Hello guys, I am Marshall. You may be wondering now, why the hell is the sad violin song playing in the background? Well, it's because I am sad, I am drowning myself in my own tears, I am sadder than Jesus when he microwaved a burrito so hot that he himself could not eat it. And the reason of my sadness is in this album that I am reviewing today, it's Pearl Jam's Gigaton. I wasn't expecting much of this album considering the singles were kinda weak but I still was hopeful it would be a nice listen, but no, guys, this album, is by far Pearl Jam's worst album, and this hurts, especially since I am a huge fan of Pearl Jam and I've been waiting for this album since 2013, and what I get is this, this album is so flavorless that it honestly doesn't even feel like an album, it feels more like a b-sides compilation, a thing that always defined Pearl Jam is that even their weakest albums had at least one insanely epic track, like for example, in Binaural we had, Of the Girl, in Self Titled we have Life Wasted and Big Wave, in Backspacer we have The Fixer, but Gigaton, there is no track in this album that actually gives us that sensation of, oh, yeah, that song is great, there is in fact some songs that you can enjoy from this thing, I'll be telling some of them in the positive highlights, but most of the songs aren't even bad, they're just lukewarm, songs that at certain points they do have something that sounds good, but mostly it's just a boredom ride, like for example the song, Retrograde, that the whole song is, okay, I guess, but only the ending is actually good, and the same thing can be said about most of the tracks of that album. And what makes this album even worse is when you compare it with other Pearl Jam albums such as Ten and Yield. It almost feels like a cover band trying to release music for the band. The only really good thing I can say about the complete experience of the album is that it dives into more experimental material, exploring more styles than the previous ones, but just because it's experimental it doesn't mean it's amazing, it has to be well done, here it sounds dull. However, despite all that harsh criticism, every cloud has a silver lining, so of course there's the positive side of the album, at least in the beginning we have some solid tracks, some tracks that are surprisingly unique, compared to what the band have done and others that even if it's for a short period of time they do give me a little grasp of excitement, like in Quick Escape, overall decent songs, that can be included among Pearl Jam's maybe top 50 songs. Some of these songs will appear now in the positive highlights, Track 1. Whoever said. Even though I like this track, it's kinda sad to see it as a positive highlight, since it isn't a song that makes you feel amazed by it. But it's still a good song, it's a really vivid track with a hot start, that goes on with a lively atmosphere and a cool chorus, a fun track by every meme, but I feel that at certain points it's a bit strengthless. Track 5. Alright. This track at first caught my attention because of its interesting beginning and the fact that's a bit moodier and more unique compared to the previous tracks. It has a strong energy in its chorus and I know that might be a little weird to say, but this track's kinda matches with the cover of the album, because the instrumentals during the verses do this sort of beeps, that remind me of the red seismic monitor lines that are above in the cover, and the chorus of this song is grandiose like the glacier in the picture, and these factors make it the best track of the album, but keep in mind that this is not an amazing song, it's just a good one. Track 6. 7 o'clock. Just like Alright, it has a cool beginning and it's moodier, but something that also calls my attention for this track is the fact that at certain points it has this sort of psychedelia going on, and it also has a nice chorus. And now, well, the tracks that didn't simply brought this album down, they made it fall from the 17th floor, the negative highlights. Track 9. Buckle Up. I know it might sound a bit late on the album for the first negative highlight to show up, but trust me, the previous tracks sound like Bohemian Rhapsody compared to this one, this is the kind of track that's so forgettable and does such a terrible job at grabbing your attention that even the silence is more interesting than this track, and at certain points it even sounds out of tempo, it's honestly better if it not existed. Track 12. River Cross. I've seen many bad album closers, but this is rock bottom, it sounds incomplete, almost like if it was a leak track, it tries to be an intense track almost in the same style of the song Oceans featured in the album 10, but fails miserably, and what you get in an utterly boring track that closes the album with the biggest turn off of the band's discography. Well, that was Gigaton, as you saw, this album has its high points, but its low points are simply hideous. There isn't a single song in this album that doesn't have anything wrong with it, Take the Long Way is ultra forgettable, Comes Then Goes as good in its first three minutes, then you just want it to be over and Retrograde has a good ending, and that's it. 
To be honest it would have been a much better closer track to the album than River Cross at least. I'm honestly shocked to see how I've waited seven years for a new album by one of my favorite bands of all time and what I get is an album that sounds like, as I said before, a demo compilation that the band released for some extra cash. This is honestly shameful, Eddie Vedder. I love you, you are the love of my life and if I could I'd marry you, but wow dude, not even my love from you is gonna stop me of telling to the world what I think of this album, neither stop me from giving this album a 5.3 out of 10. It might seem a lot considering how harsh I've been to this album, but remember two things. 1. The first half of the album is actually decent. And 2. I am a huge fan of Pearl Jam, so I was comparing this album to their previous ones, and compared to the other ones, this is plain garbage, but it's not the worst thing in the world or in the whole musical spectrum. Hey, thanks for watching this video, what are your thoughts about this album and my review? Please share your view in the comments, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. My name is Marshall and see you next time.